Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside Gorbachev, The Fall of Communism. This is a solitaire game designed by Ben Madison and produced by White Dog Games. It is the first in the new Cold War trilogy from Ben. Uh, the other two are going to deal with Rhodesia and a fictional World War III that never happened, thankfully. But let's take a look at the back of the box. It says, Comrades, take a wild nostalgic trip back to the 1980s. That golden age of nuclear paranoia, alternative music on MTV, and five and a quarter inch floppy disks. In Gorbachev, Fall of Communism, you are thrust into the leadership of the Soviet Union, trying to push your immense country into democracy amidst the collapse of socialism and the wild mood swings of Gorbachev himself. In this fast play, fun, and educational solitaire game, five converging paths represent the political awakenings of the Russian people, the Baltic Republics, the Caucasus, Central Asia, and the Communist Party itself. Any of them can spin out of control and force the Soviet army to overthrow you in a desperate bid to turn back the tide of freedom. This all takes place in a dangerous world of ethnic riots, earthquakes, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and other nightmare scenarios. You'll manage the rickety Soviet economy and dictate to the journalists at Pravda. Your army, stretching from the Berlin Wall to Afghanistan, is one of the poker chips you bargain with in disarmament deals while you give up your missiles and shed Warsaw Pact allies to win goodwill from Ronald Reagan and other Cold War foes. Each risky gambit is aimed at averting a military coup against you. Can you hold the Soviet Union together long enough to achieve a treaty with your restive republics and win the game? Game Components uh, has a 16-page rulebook, an 11 by 17-inch map sheet, 88 full-color single-sided 5 8 inch counters, one player aid, one event sheet, and 27 full-color event cards. The stats on it, it is com uh, complexity is low to medium, it is a solitaire-only game, time play is 30 to 60 minutes, turn, uh, the turn scale is one turn equals three months, time period is 1985 to 1981, and you are playing as the advisor to Soviet le leader Mikhail Gorbachev. And, uh, uh, there's an example of the map and the counters as well as an event card in the game and down here it says thanks to Darren Leveloff for con for inventing this format of war game and to Steve Carey for his innovations that led to this game uh, if you haven't already uh, figured it out. This is a State of Siege style game. Um, as we saw here, it says that you're dealing with five paths, uh, five uh, threats to you. And then down here as well, the uh, thanks to Darren Leveloff for inventing the format uh, of the State of Siege game. But let's take a look inside the box and see what you get. Here are your event cards that you get. You've got, uh, they're all numbered 1 through 27, and you have the different um, symbols here as to, as to what each card will do, and then some supporting text on the bottom of it. I'm not going to go through all those because it's part of the fun of, especially in the solitaire game, part of the fun of these is discovering what these do as you play. you got your 1D6. And we have our counter sheet. These are 5 8 inch counters. Uh, these were, are going to be dealing with um, your administrative uh, counters as well as the different uh, lines that are going to be coming in attacking you in those five uh, or the five paths of threat to you, I should say. Uh, we've got uh, U.S. Um, counters up here with Reagan, Bush, and Dukakis. Um, we've got, uh, I'm surprised they don't have Dukakis in the tank helmet. That was Seeing him in a CVC helmet is still one of the funniest pictures ever. Um, but we've got here Massacre and Disaster Cards, or I should say Counters. Uh, we have different um, satellite states of the Soviet Union, Poland, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania. And then you've got, looks like Polar Bureau members, uh, Yeltsin, Gorbachev, uh, Popova, um, and all then all the supporting cast there um, some military forces here MVD security hey we've even got old blue eyes Frank Sinatra and Putin himself back when he was a colonel in the KGB before he became president of the Russian Federation uh, he also has a spot on the counters in this game and now we've got our manual which we'll come back to our player aid card which looks pretty straightforward and has uh, it says counter tray for easy setup I guess this is where everything you will set everything up for the game on this and then use it as you need has your sequence of play or put it on the map as you need it uh, here's your sequence of play and then we've got our map itself which we'll put out here take a better look at it and 
Wow. Let me zoom in on this so you can see a better look at the map, but that is a pretty orange map and kind of kind of busy. Uh, it's I'm not sure if this backdrop was the best to choose for this because uh, I'm already just at a distance of maybe a foot and a half away from the map itself. I'm, uh, I'm kind of having a hard time reading some of the things that are on it, but um, it's manageable as a, as a solitaire game because it's a nice small map. You'll be able to sit right close to it, but um, generally I don't um, have major problems with maps uh, for solitaire games, but I think this was a little too busy and orange um, the way this was set up, but either way, it'll work and we'll see how it works when I get to play the game itself. But let's take a look at the rule book itself. It goes up to page 15. Uh, the rules start on page one and it goes down to, uh, page 11 and then page 12 is your advanced, uh, advanced rules. Then you have an example of play on page 13, designer's notes also on 13 and your credits on page 15 so definitely not um, uh, a really deep rule book to learn and if you are a state of siege experienced player it should be fairly easy to pick up here are the counters over here got our time counters people markers uh, Sinatra Brezhnev US president uh, then your massacre disaster cards which we've already seen pull up your members um, then you have Remy and Pravda which are the Soviet media and uh, KGB, the military forces, MVD security, uh, nukes, popular vote, Uzbek mafia, and loyal communists are the different counters that you'll have in the game. And then we've got our introduction, and it goes into the game equipment, which we kind of already uh, talked about. It says, here on these shaded boxes, text in the shaded boxes like this provides the voice of the game's designer to explain a concept or idea that is not actually a rule. Um, aspects of this game were inspired by We Must Tell the Emperor by Steve Carey. My thanks to Steve for his encouragement on this project. Steve's game was based on the States of Siege series from Victory Point Games, which uh, back in, began back in 2008 with Darren Leveloff's devilishly simple Israeli independence, a war game that has eight counters and you can play in 10 minutes. Uh, and then Ben says he recommends the entire series of games. And these are the examples here that we're talking about with that. But then we've got, in, we got ourselves, uh, we walk through setup, um, sequence of play, uh, drawing event cards, and some more examples of what the designer's intent was, and demonstrations. Got a lot of text, it's very text heavy. Um, here we've got some examples. These are examples are all text-based, um, all in blue text, so they're easy to, to pull out when you need to understand or see an example of play. And then we've got uh, all the way down to victory and defeat on page 11. And then we get into our um, advanced rules on page 12. And then 13 is the example of play. Uh, it says see the back of the event sheet that is where the example of play is. And then uh, the designer's notes start there on 13 and go all the way through to 15 with also a uh, supporting bibliography in case you are uh, looking for more information based on the Cold War, if you didn't live through it, or if it's something you'd like to learn a little bit more about. And then pictures on the back of the book is from um, the, the designer's tour I believe in uh, the Soviet Union back in the 80s, um, back before it became the Russian Federation. But that is a look inside everything that you get with Gorbachev, the fall of communism from White Dog Games. If you are a fan of the State of Siege series or line of games, this is definitely a game for you. Give it a look and it's from White Dog Games. You can order it directly from their site. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.